Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. In this video, we're going to be going over the direct proportion value that you can get from your music. I'm going to be breaking down three different methods. One is not a very good method. Two is an okay method. And three is a really great method that's going to help you grow your music business. Let's get right into it. So the first one here is the option that most artists take. And that is one song for 1 million streams equals $1,500. So this is the main way that people think about growing their music is they say, how can I get a million streams on my music? And then what is the amount of work? And we're gonna actually rank the amount of work for each one of these methods. I'm gonna rank that work on a scale of one to five, five being an 80 hour work week, uh, you're grinding, you're burning the candle at both ends, you're waking up early, you're going to bed late, um, you don't have a lot of time for maybe family, there's no work-life balance to number one being, well, is that thing even requiring too much work at all? It's pretty passive, maybe you can travel, maybe you have a lot of freedom while you're still making that income. But let's go ahead and rank this one. I'm going to rank it here at a number four. Okay, so a number four uh, because we got number one, this is number one, we got a rank number four, one to two months of work is what we would estimate in our experience in getting streams to get 1 million streams at $1,500 for that many streams. 40 hours a week is how much it would take for you to grow to this point. That's what we believe. Making content, you're going to have to uh, pay Playlisters, do some promotion. You're going to have to go on all the social media platforms, promote your music, maybe even have to do some shows around that music. You're going to have to send out emails or talk with other artists, groups that want the same music that you have. Maybe it's Facebook ads, but whatever it is, you're probably, if you're going for this hefty goal here of a million streams on your song, you're probably spending about 40 hours a week. 40 hours a week, a million streams, um, 160 to 320 uh, hours for this amount of time. So if it takes you one month, 160. If it takes you two months, 320. And that is $6,000 to $12,000 valuing your time at $40 an hour. That's what I'm going to value your time at. And that would be six to $12,000 worth of work and value that you've put in is it in direct proportion to the value and work that you put in? Let's see, 20% return on your value, all right? Because 1,500 bucks, this is taking that $6,000 amount of value that you've put in to grow, that is 20% of, right here, 20% return on your value. Okay, so now guys, we got number two here. This is buying streams right? You spend $5, you get 1,500 streams, and you get returned $2. All right, so this right here does not require a lot of effort to buy streams on your music. We're going to get into whether or not you'd want to do that. And if it's ethical, or if it makes sense for you, you probably you probably already know what it is. But buy streams $5, you get $2 back. That means that you have a return on investment of four the amount of work it takes you, it's a one. It is so easy. All you have to do is put a link to your music and then you promote it. You put in the link and they get you all of your streams. You buy your streams. How does that play out down here? How does the return on your value work? Well, let's see. It took you no time. You got 40% return on your spend. So you spend $5, right? So if you spend $10, you get $4 back in streams, okay? But there's a big problem with this. And the big problem is if you are spending and buying streams, number one, they aren't targeted. So you could be buying streams from Australia, Russia, wherever. And the thing is, if you're Mexican music and you're getting Canadian listeners because it's bots, that's going to really hurt your algorithm and it's not going to help you. It's actually a problem for you to grow because 
Spotify is not going to know where to show your music because they're going to say, well, this person in China, this person in Asia, and they listen to every single type of music, metal and everything, because those are bots. They're not going to know where to show your music, where to grow your music, and where you relate to other artists and how you're similar because the bots and the algorithm is telling them that, hey, this person uh, that listens to this also listens to all these other things. It's really going to be a problem for your growth if you buy streams organically, all right? If it's gonna be uh, Spotify, it's gonna be a problem with your organic growth on Spotify, all right? So getting on playlists, things like that. It's also a very dark path. I've had some friends that have bought streams and purchased these streams from these types of places and spent this money and gotten this much back. And you know what? It really doesn't give you a very good feeling because number one, it's fabricated. Number two, People are seeing that and they're saying, oh, wow, you got this many streams. But wait, there's not that many likes. Or, but wait, there's not that many followers. Oh, that person bought streams. It's not really a respectable thing to do. And also, you, as soon as you stop paying, you are not getting any return on your music. As soon as you stop putting in the money to buy the streams, you're not getting any streams. It's because they were all fake. So you put yourself up on this pedestal that can fall at any second. And it's really just, it's a dark path to go down. I don't recommend buying streams. I wouldn't buy streams for anyone, even my competitors. I wouldn't put that on them. All right, so three, we got, um, this is number three. We're gonna rank, if you have one song and you have 25 copies of the song, $50 worth of value gets you $1,250 for the song. How hard is this? Well, uh, we're gonna go into it, but basically uh, you're not gonna be spending all the time marketing the same way that you would for a million streams. You don't need to push a million playlists. You're not gonna be working for Facebook ads to try and get your million streams. It's a little harder than just buying streams. You do have to put in, we got five hours a week of selling on here. It's gonna be about a month to get all of these copies sold, 25 copies, a little bit less than one a day that you sell, and it's about 20 hours of work. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one, uh, 20 hours versus 160, and that was a four, uh, so that would be, uh, yeah, let's, let's put it around a two or a one. Let's go two. Go with the two. Yeah, so two or three, somewhere there, two or three. So your value of your time is $40 per hour. Same here, same here. 20 hours going in, that's $800, okay? How do you do this? Well, same way that you would um, sell any product. You're going to talk with your family, friends, your fans, people listen to your music, and you're going to share with them the value, right? $50 worth of value. You're not just giving them one song and that's it. Creating an offer is what you spend your time doing here. And creating value by saying you're getting access to unlockable content. You're getting access to um, unreleased version of the song, a group chat. You're getting access to um, a vinyl record or a CD, or maybe you get into any future concerts right? 156% return on your value that you've put in, right? So if you're making this and it was 800 bucks for you in terms of your sweat equity that you put into growing this, you did $800 worth of work at $40 an hour and you have $1,250 as your return. So a total return of $450 which is the only return on your value out of these three methods that is actually over 100%, if not, uh, yeah, you're not losing money on this. You're getting over 100%. When I was doing an interview with Spotty Wi-Fi and I, I told, some of you guys might've heard this story. I told you guys this uh, about two videos ago, but I was talking with Spotty Wi-Fi because he's a really inspirational guy. He's got a ton of music out there. He did a, a song with, a bunch of uh, big um, uh, Bay Area um, singers he was with. He uh, did a song with Snoop Dogg, actually. And he's a lawyer. He's a, he actually has, a, he passed the bar exam. He's a smart guy, really 
really on top of his business and music. And I did an interview with him and he told me about how he saw music on the blockchain, music NFTs selling copies of your song as the most valuable way to offer music because when people buy it, it's resellable. It's so you can capitalize on the second market royalties. It is um, verifiable on the blockchain and it's verifiable so you can verify the owners, which then gives it a collectible value. So with that being said, we look into this. I ask him, I say, how did it go when you did your, your drop? He said, you know, I had around a thousand monthly listeners and out of those 1000 monthly listeners, I had uh, between 100 and 150 people, I think it was, buy my music on the blockchain. And he made over $200,000 because each copy uh, was about, I think it was about Ethereum or maybe somewhere around there. So it was, it was uh, over a thousand bucks per copy. And he, he made 200 grand in, in the span. I'm not, I'm not talking over the month either. This was within 24 hours, within a day of dropping his music on the blockchain and offering copies, he made that much. So which method do you think uh, ranks well? I think this method ranks excellence. I would stay away from this method. I would do this method, but I would do it very, very smart with systems. That's why we talk about joining the free song a week challenge. How do you grow your music streams, your royalties, collecting um, music in your catalog and then releasing it effectively? The free song a week challenge down below. Now guys, I have a free token as well that when you join, uh, when, you, when you go grab the free book that I have, you get a free token from our music company called Enzo. It's on the Solana blockchain. Go check out that free token down below. And also guys, for those of you that see this third option and you say the work makes sense, I can manage that Will. that actually makes sense for me. I can do that. And then you see the, the numbers and you're like, these numbers, they make sense. I could probably sell 25 copies. I could probably sell them like concert tickets and, and put in a month of work and I could make that and get that ROI and I'll grow that ROI at every single release by being consistent and scaling up my business. If that makes sense for you, then I would encourage you guys to simply check out the three keys to music NFTs down below. Just simply take a look. It shows you how to plan your project, how to create your project, and how to offer, market, and sell your music on the blockchain as NFTs. And if you're interested, it's not a subscription. Uh, it's just one monthly payment or one payment, and that's it. And uh, I would encourage you to simply take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below if you got any value. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.